As I travel across the country, meeting with clients across the spectrum of the industry, talking to clients in healthcare delivery, whether we're talking about provider organizations or independent facilities or parts of very large academic or community healthcare systems, one of the things that I'm told over and over again by executives and people that are in the trenches delivering care is that to many, it feels like they're living in the middle of the famous curse. May you live in interesting times. In fact, in healthcare across the spectrum of the industry, even globally, we are living in very interesting times. This is an exciting and challenging time to be in healthcare from my perspective with enormous opportunities as well as enormous threats and enormous risks. Healthcare is clearly an industry in transition. It touches all of us. It comprises about 18% of the economy and depending upon which experts you talk to, in 25 years, it will be at least 25% of our economy. And despite people's personal extensive experience in navigating healthcare as patients and consumers, it is an industry that unfortunately has remained extraordinarily opaque. And my contention is that most of that is because of the economic exchange that has characterized the industry between the consumer and providers that deliver the care. And so as I look to the future of healthcare, I see three important fundamental changes. One, a fundamentally different business model from the model that we have come to know and are challenged to deal with today. Secondly, a fundamentally different payment structure, which is what I want to talk about today. And three, a fundamentally different way of defining value, which I also don't want to talk about today. The future of healthcare, as I see it, needs to be centered on the consumer. I think it will. And there has to be transparency and quality and cost and accountability across the board, including accountability for consumers in getting to better health outcomes at lower cost.